okay, let's sit down and manifest a life where I am super successful and happy, make lots of money and have the best relationship to the love of my life. <sighs> Why do I feel like it's not working? Because you don't believe any of those words. Hmm? To be honest, kind of vague. Super successful and happy? What do you mean? Okay, good points. But how does manifestation work then? I have just the right tool for you. If you want to jump timelines between where you are now and where you want to be, there's basically just three things that you need. Goals that are attractive for you, because what you don't want... Why, why would we get it? <laughs> why though? <laughs> powerful beliefs to back up those goals because if you don't believe that you deserve it if you don't believe that you can do it that this is the right thing for you you won't get it taking aligned action that's like the holy grail because if you don't get up if you don't move you won't have it luckily for you we are stepping into your true potential today and i'm sharing my most favorite manifestation technique with you Oh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers and I'll be with you every step on the way when you're building a life that you love. First, let's talk about why your manifestations may not be working. You're spending more time daydreaming about the life that you want to live than actually going for it, aka you're taking not enough action. I want you to take messy action, put yourself out there, don't be perfect, aim for good enough. If you, for example, want to become a full-time content creator, I need you to post every day. Stop making excuses and start showing up unapologetically, imperfect, messy, but with heart and intention. Speaking of intentions, if these are unclear, it's also not going to work out either. So for example, if you want to become a fit and healthy person and your goal is to just have a better health, you don't actually know what to do. You don't know what action to take because what do you mean by better health? Does it mean losing weight, gaining muscle or improving your mental well-being or something completely different. I need you to be specific in your goals and write down goals that you actually are in control of. If I just write down, I want to be famous, I want everyone to love me, I want to have a big community. Okay, cool. But what do I have actually in control of? I don't know if a video blows up, but I can write down, I want to post a video every day for 365 days. That's a goal that I have control over. That's a goal that I can accomplish, right? There's this difference between goals and outcome. An outcome is I am famous and I get brand deals every week. The strategy that will get me there is showing up as a content creator, delivering epic content and showing up daily. That doesn't mean that you should entirely scratch the outcomes and never concentrate on them again. That's not true. We also want them, but backing them up with the things that we actually can do in order to achieve them and accomplish them. So you can write down, I want to have financial freedom, but be intentional in that. What does that actually mean? Does it mean that you're making 10K a month? Does it mean that you're making 100K a month? Get very specific here. The killer of our dream life are limiting beliefs and negative mindset, attitude and energy in yourself and in your outer world. So let's have a look at your world right now, the way that you speak to yourself, what your core beliefs are. Because if you don't believe, for example, that you are deserving of love, or if you believe that all men and women are untrustworthy, but you still want a healthy, loving relationship, how should that work? So your number one goal right now is to work on those core beliefs. And how can we do that? by taking action, by changing our inner monologue. If your environment, your outer world, doesn't match the identity, the person you want to become, we need to work on that. Because if your apartment, for example, is just a hall of shame of all the past versions around you, and you are sitting in there not feeling it, not vibing in this environment, please redecorate, rearrange, recolor. That's what we did with this office. And it's actually, I'm a new person now, and I love it. And yes, this also means to upgrade your friendships. And this doesn't have to mean that you need to cut out all the people out of your life. No, but change the conversations and the focus and the things that you're doing with these people. And if your current 
friendship circle is not giving what you are craving, then search it somewhere else. There are people out there who, for example, have the same goals as you and want the same vibe in their life. If you want a healthier lifestyle and be successful, but subconsciously you fear that this includes too much change in your everyday life and in your lifestyle, this is when you start sabotaging yourself and your progress that you are making. So for example, when I did my coaching certification to become a business coach, they told us a story of a client who wanted to lose weight. He was severely overweight and he was like, I'm sick of it. I want to change. I want to become fit. I want to be healthy. I want to feel like myself again. And through that, but there was something that he was like, I cannot overcome this. I have tried so many diets. I have been working out consistently, but nothing that he tried tried stick over a long period of time. He always fell off track and he was like, what's my problem? What's my freaking problem? So through the help of the coach, when they had a look of what's really going on and what's the underlying issue behind his behaviors and why he couldn't have long lasting change, the result was that he knew subconsciously when I am changing my lifestyle and I'm that fit person and I can do whatever I want and I love myself more again, then I need to leave my wife because actually I don't love my wife anymore and I don't love our life, but I don't want to deal with that. And he was so afraid to have this big change and being by himself again after 20 years of marriage that he was like, uh, 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 I'm not dealing with that. So he started to subconsciously sabotage his workout routines. That suffering and that misery for him was comfortable because it was familiar. The change and the life that he was craving and was waiting for him was unfamiliar. So in his brain it was like, uh, 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 that's uncomfortable. We're not dealing with that. So as you can see, it can also be that when you are trying to manifest something into your life, that there is such a radical shift within your core beliefs and your values and who you are, that there's fear connected to it because it's unfamiliar. You were not that version before that's something totally new. So it can also be that you're just resisting to the change that this new life is actually meaning for you. If you are trying to manifest your dream career. So in my case, being a content creator, being a YouTuber, getting paid for gigs, but you get anxious or frustrated whenever the views are down or people are not tuning in and you put so much work into one video that you then start to doubt yourself. That's like the downward negative spiral that we don't want to go into of impatience and self doubt, but it's part of the process sometimes, right? When we get impatient because the end result that we want is not coming as fast as we want and wish it to be. Last but not least on the list, you are very much hyper focused on the how in your manifestation. So how you are going to get there. I'm not saying that the how is unimportant because we still need to know where to start and what to do daily in order to call in our manifestations. But if you are too focused on how this end result comes into your life and you're like, I need this specific way. If it's not happening this way, I'm not going to do it. And then you're throwing in the towel. So for example, my goal is to become a full time content creator. I am a full time content creator already, but to actually make money with it. Right. And in my brain, I don't know why, but I was so focused on TikTok and growing on there that I totally forgot that shorts are working. So whenever my views were down on TikTok, I got impatient. The self doubt spiral started and I was like, this is not working. How can I? Ever what I do if this will never work out. And then yeah, and I was like totally ignoring that over here we're growing constantly since day one and we're doing things right. And I love that. So I needed to shift my perspective on I want to become a content creator. I want this to be my job and get paid for it. But maybe it's not happening on TikTok, but over here on YouTube and you just need to double down on here. And that is what I mean by too focused on the how. I know you want to leave all that behind. So the big question is, how can you actually make your manifestations a reality? I'm giving you my most 
wanted manifestation technique in just a moment, but the simple answer is by reprogramming your thought patterns. Your thoughts create the emotions that you're having and what you focus on expands and gets more and more. So if you change your thoughts, you change your actions, you change your attitude, you change your vibe, your energy, you know where I'm going? When you click on the link to your true potential guide, this is the browser page that is opening up. And the first thing that I want you to do is to click on the top right and duplicate so that you have your own version of the spreadsheet that you can actually work in and make your own edits. Okay, so don't forget that step. That's the first thing you're going to do to click duplicate and make your own spreadsheet. This true potential guide is pretty self explanatory, but I want to go through it with you together now so you can be excited and start immediately after watching this video. The purpose of this exercise is to reprogram your subconscious mind for success, fulfillment, happiness, whatever you're craving. But that looks different to every one of us. The important part here is that you don't only do this exercise once and then you're like, ah, I'm done. I, I can put it in my little drawer over here and I can't forget it. Oh, hell no. The best results from the people that I've worked with that have shown this worksheet and they've did it for themselves is when they actually fill it out and then record their own version of it out loud. So this is especially about the part that is here, the 12 month vision, where you write your 500 word essay about your dream life, inviting it that in and actually record yourself reading it out loud. That's the last step. And then you can listen to it on your hot girl walk while you're running errands in your bed while falling asleep or in the morning to get you out of bed, excited, starting your day. So don't just only write that here and forget it. No, write it, soak it in, record yourself and listen to it to actually reprogram what is going on here in your head and in your heart and in your soul to actually step into that high frequency that you can access to in every moment, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is that you are calling in your goals, specific attractive goals. If you don't know what you want in your life, I also have a video for you, check that out. When you are already in that step and you know, oh my God, girl, I'm glad that you're asking because this is what I want, this is what I'm calling in, these are my manifestations, you write them in here and I want you to be as specific as possible and actually write something down that you desire, that you crave, that you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait for that to be my life, okay? And we are having a closer look here to make it easier for yourself on the different categories, mental and physical health, relationships, career and finance, hobbies, and your personal style. So what are the, the colors that you're wearing? What is the fabric? What are the outfits? What's the fit? So we're actually not only looking on the inside, but also on the outside and every other category in your life as well. When you have done that, you can actually extend that. You can write at least one if you just have one goal that you want to focus on for. And this is important for the next 12 months. We're not working on a five-year plan. We're not only working on the next two weeks. I want you to challenge yourself a little bit and imagine a year from now what your life going to be. What are you doing? where you're at, okay? Then we want to back those goals up with powerful beliefs because if you don't believe in it, that this is for you, you won't gonna have a lot of motivation. You're not gonna follow that for more than a week or a day. So to reprogram the beliefs, to overwrite them, we, we want to know what we are actually believing in from now on. So an example is here. I am creative. Life offers me so much content every day and I have so many interesting stories to tell. This is especially one of my beliefs because I'm a content creator and sometimes I think, ah, I'm unoriginal and shit. But that's not true. I am creative. Life offers me so much content. Or, for example, I'm not afraid of being rejected by anyone. I know who I am and love me unconditionally. I feel free, expansive, and fearless. Okay? Write down at least 10. We want 10 of those beliefs. No less. You can create 10. So get your head in the game. After that, it is really important because we have the mindset, we have the goals, we're, dis we're like motivated. But we actually 
need to take aligned action. So what are the healthy habits you're doing every day from now on? The least you can do to actually call in your goals and make them a reality. And we are looking at it from different angles. Your morning routine, because the goal is to get up energized and be ready for the day. Your evening routine and additional habits that help you to achieve your dreams. On the morning routine, I want you to focus on one to three things. Don't make a list of 24 freaking steps. No one's got time for that. No one can actually remember all of the 24 steps. So I want you to be efficient over here. The German in me comes out and tells you like, oh my God, this is what we're going to do. At least a maximum three things. One for the mind, one for the body and one for your health. Okay. Evening routine, also three things. I just put here my examples that you can be ex inspired by. You don't have to exactly do them as like I do. But for example, with my morning routine on the days where I'm like, oh my God, no, I don't have the energy. I feel not myself. I don't have the, the, the time even to do all of those three things. So I'm going to do one. And that gets to be enough for that day. And on the good days and the great days, I do three. And on the days where I feel horrendous and horrible, I make all these three because I know it will make me feel better. But if you don't have the resources, it is also okay to just have one thing. You don't have to be perfect every day, especially when you're humans. We can't. Okay. So additional habits that help you achieve your dreams. For example, I'm a content creator. So my job is to post on social media every day. If I want to make it work, I got to show up. There is no way you get around my face on the internet these days. Or, for example, my fashionista, and it's also part of my job and my dream life, is to sew and make my own clothes. So I have the challenge to make at least one piece a month. What is it for you? So look at your dreams and ask yourself, what is necessary for me? How do I need to show up? in order to call in that life that I've been dreaming of. What, or also look at from the other perspective, what are you already doing if you have your dream life? Because to be honest, if I want to be a content creator, I don't stop creating content and showing up if I have 100k followers or a million views on my video. It's not going to stop. Okay, so if you have a difficult time to imagine, okay, what do I need to do to get there? Just have a look at what are you doing when you have that life? How are you making that money? Um, who are you spending time with? What are you doing on those days where you're like, uh-huh, this is my dream. Okay, you can do that. Last but not least, you create your 12-month vision where you combine all of the stuff that you have written above. So you write down your empowering vision in third-person perspective, which you want to embody from today. Okay? Try to be as specific as possible with the help of the stuff that you have already written down. Why in third person? This is important because it will be easier for you to break away from your old patterns, your old identity, and automatically make room for new powerful beliefs, if you write it that way. And I have put some guiding questions in here for you. You don't have to be the best writer out there. Just start and put in longer sentences for the bullet points that you have created already. Okay, you can do that. Have so much fun. If you have any questions about this or if you have the feeling you need to share that with someone, my DMs are always open. I am here. I'm listening and I cannot wait for you to have so much fun with the spreadsheet and put on some of your favorite music, get the tune on, get in the vibes, light a candle, make it cozy or make it, I don't know, do that with a friend together and then... It's just a matter of showing up and your dream life will be here. Reprogramming your mind is a daily practice. Consistency, baby. Take positive, small changes every day and you are going to see results. It might take a while. 
but stay patient, keep going, keep manifesting that life that you love, keep believing in yourself. And I am here with you every step on the way. So don't forget to grab your free copy of the True Potential Guide and I see you in the next one. Mwah.